Oh, finally, after months and months of asking, Elon has finally dropped the event date for the Cybertruck, as he's officially calling it, event date, which Tesla events are always exciting because you never quite know what you're going to get. You could get something really, really exciting like the semi event where the next gen Roadster pulled out, or you could have something really boring like the Model Y where most of it's a history event. But I do not think there's really any possible way the Cyberpunk truck could be a boring event because this is like the last final edition to the Tesla lineup. Everything from here on out is going to be commercial and boring. It's like, okay, we made a van, you know, we made a slightly different semi-truck, or we improved the Model S. Like, this is the last big design that we don't really know what it looks like yet. So, in today's video, I'll be speculating on everything we could possibly be seeing in just a few more weeks on November 21st near SpaceX. Let's begin. <laughs> Elon has hyped up this pickup truck a lot with the specifications on Twitter. He's been saying that he wants it to have between 400 and 500 mile range, maybe more, which of course makes sense. Anytime Elon describes something, he has to top it. It's always, oh, uh, and that's the base model. And, and these are going to get even better or, or that'll get even cheaper, which is, which is great. I love it. The range is really impressive and it's more than likely that this is going to have some insane towing capabilities, potentially like up to 30,000 pounds that it can take with it. Elon's talked about how he wants the tailgate to kind of fold down in a way so that you can load stuff up on the back. In regards to the design, during the last Q3 earnings call, Elon even said this is one of the best products, no, the best product Tesla has ever made, which is very, very ambitious and puts the stakes very, very high. But what's interesting about it is he's even mentioned that he thinks the design could be potentially controversial. Some people may not like the way it looks and maybe if the cyberpunk truck doesn't do very well, they'll have to go back to basics and make a more traditional looking truck. But I kind of like that because Tesla seems like the kind of company that's clearly, you know, not a get rich quick company. It's more of a, we care about this. We're passionate about this. We don't care if we lose hundreds of millions of dollars a quarter. We just want to depend more on sustainable energy and make cars and products that people love. So the fact that they're focusing on making sure it's a truck that they enjoy and they love means that it's coming from a point of passion, which I can appreciate. But simultaneously, I don't know if I like the design. None of us really do. We have haven't seen it yet and I love hearing from Elon that apparently none of the concepts we've seen online so far have accurate renderings of what the pickup truck looks like. That is so rare these days to go into an event and not really know what we're gonna see between iPhone events and Mac events. All the leaks are always so out in the open and it's just so obvious there's hardly any surprises anymore and the pickup truck is like a big chapter for Tesla's future because pickup trucks at least in the United States they sell very very well and in regards to the EV market and what what pickup trucks are available, there's next to nothing. You really can't buy a really good pickup truck that also is all electric. So this is a very present and very absent piece of the market that Tesla hasn't gone into yet. So knowing that they're going to be giving us the specs and giving us the design in just a couple weeks really, really psychs me up, even though, no, I'm not getting this thing. I'll be very, very interested in a Tesla pickup truck about 10 years from now when I can buy one used with about 60,000 miles on it. Sign me up for that one. I'll be, I'll be straight in line for the first used pickup. Although a pickup truck was my first car, I do enjoy them. I like having functional vehicles, I like going bike riding, so having something that I could throw the bike in in the back, also just moving furniture and that kind of stuff. We're always borrowing other people's trucks, and I know there's other trucks we can get, but anyway, the most ambitious thing about this pickup, I think, is the price point Elon talked about during a podcast, in which he mentioned that ideally he wants it to start under $50,000. Almost all of the tech specs he's given us on the pickup are somewhat believable. That's the one I have a hard time believing. All-wheel drive, of course, for great traction. I expect that. Zero to 60 in around three seconds for an electric car. You know, that makes sense. For a pickup truck, I think that should be expected. Very, very fast. The insane towing capabilities, the fact that he wants it to sit like five to six people, and the fact that he wants there to be 240 volt charging out the back of the bed of the pickup, which makes me wonder, is this the first Tesla that can charge another Tesla? Like your old Model 3 dies out on the freeway, so you take your pickup truck out there charge it up a little bit, just enough to get it home. With the battery packs being so large on the pickup truck, potentially like 150 to 200 kilowatt hours, maybe, then it could have a long enough range, you know, for those long towing trips and enough battery to spare that you could give off a charge to other EVs if you need to, but I don't think that happens often. It's just kind of weird. Teslas are really just giant mobile battery packs with wheels on them, which I'm a fan of personally, but all these specs are really impressive. The craziest one, though, is that he wants to start it under 50K. I have a hard time believing 
believing we'll actually get that price point. Similar to the Model 3, you know, when they unveiled the specifications for it, they were all pretty generous. Like the original Model 3, they said it would have a range of 215 miles. Now, every single Model 3, even the cheapest one, has a way better range than that. And they said it would go 0 to 60 in under 6 seconds. And now there's plenty of Model 3s that go 0 to 60 in less than 5 seconds. So the specifications they usually give out on stage are generous, but the one thing they didn't quite get with the Model 3 was they wanted to start at $35,000. Yeah, there's technically an off-menu Model 3 that's $35,400, but once you factor in the fees, sales tax, and the fact that the one you buy off the website starts at basically forty grand, yeah, they didn't quite hit that margin. But personally, I don't think they even have to, because as long as you can market it as something with a range just as good as a typical pickup truck, but also you can charge it from home, think of the gas savings, and also think of the fact that a lot of people who buy the big pickup trucks have to get diesel, which can oftentimes cost more money, you'll be saving a lot if you're able to charge from home, where 99% of the time it's cheaper than gasoline. People might be willing to pay more than the average pickup truck for this thing if it has really good functional features that people can utilize in their work days, and it's cleaner for the environment and you can charge from home, save money in the long run, yeah, it's okay if you put up a little bit more money up front, given so many people end up paying for their cars monthly anyway, the cost of maintaining it is a big factor, and this thing, you know, won't require smog checks, won't require oil changes, and probably won't require brake pad replacements for long periods of time because of regenerative braking, there's a lot of potential here, and of course, the big awkward uh, drama in the high school right now is Rivian, who has not started production of the R1T yet, but is kind of the go-to example of an EV pickup, except it's not available to buy yet, but they're nearing production and they probably want to start delivering them by the end of next year. Big companies like Ford and Amazon have invested into them, so knowing that we're going to have the R1T versus the Cyberpunk truck in just a couple weeks and we get to compare the specifications, that's going to be interesting. And I think that because so many people buy pickup trucks, the Tesla pickup has huge potential to sell really, really well. And I also love Elon's reasoning for the announcement of this. It's literally because November 2019, which is where we are, is where Blade Runner takes place. And he says that the truck could easily fit on a Blade Runner movie set because it's going to look that weird and that different. And I'm sorry, I'm just a big fan of Tesla's out-of-the-box thinking. I love the way they treat things very differently, and they're probably going to showcase something none of us have even thought of. And like I said, I'm kind of pumped that the design's going to be controversial. I like that. I like that some people might look at this and say, no way, I'm never going to buy that thing, because that means when you see it on the road, it's going to catch your eye. You're going to notice that it's a Tesla pickup. Who knows? In the future, they might make a more traditional one, but I am personally very, very excited. If you want to talk more about it, feel free to check out my Twitter or hit me up in the Discord. This is your Tesla Sheep here. I'll see you guys in the next one.